Uh, standard disclaimer. So please take note, I am here on uh, education. May Along the way, I may actually mention company names, but definitely not any recommendations. Eh? So please take note, uh, after today's session, if you make money, be happy. No need to thank me. Lose money, we never met. Eh? <laughs> okay, hope a little human doesn't hurt. Okay, now uh, let's uh, cut the chase and get straight to the point. Yeah? So um, if you ask me, financial analysis is one of the most important step to choose the company. Okay. So of course, you know, a lot of companies actually looks great on the outside. Yeah? Wow, this company got new businesses. Wow, this company got you know, or new product. Wow, this company got so many customers. But actually, is it making money? Or does it mean that when you see a company who has a very successful event in product launch, for example, uh, Tesla, okay? Or either that Grab, everybody using Grab, okay? Or either that McDonald's, everyone's eating McDonald's. So are they really making money are they really financially healthy? But I'm not saying they are not. Huh? So the thing here is, is uh, the point I want to say is just by looking at outside, we don't know what is happening inside. Right? So I think <clears throat> as per all human, the same, uh, a lot of us actually look good, look healthy, but hey, you no, know, within us, there may be health issues that, you know, it just don't flag up. So I think needless to say, you know, financial analysis on companies is actually very important. So you actually need to know the numbers, need to decipher the numbers uh, to really, really understand the company. But so I think a more important point that I actually want to address is why this year? <laughs> why, especially this year? I mean, I have been doing investment courses. Uh, this is, by the way, my 12th year. It's my 12th year and, you know, uh, this is the, yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, actually, this is the first time I actually do a course very specific on uh, financial statement analysis. So why this year? Okay. Now, um, before I get to the answer, why I think this year financial statement is particularly important, I need to give you some background. Okay. Uh, as in the beginning of year, I will usually do my investment strategy session. So, of course, I think some of you actually attended uh, yesterday so thank you so much um, and um, this is how I start I usually start with a market outlook okay where I think the economy is going and yep to no surprises uh, so basically you know if you just read the papers or just go and google economy outlook I think this is the vibes you will be getting uh. um, outlook darkens for 2023 uh, recession this year uh, is likely to happen this year. So I think um, uh, no brainer, la, no brainer. La. So I think this year is time to be cautious or at least there is enough people out there who thinks that this year is not going to do very well. Huh? So I'm someone who believes that don't fight the main forces. Huh? Okay, Don't fight the main forces. If there are enough people telling me it's bad, I will take it as bad. So regardless how optimistic we are, I actually do appreciate the uh, uh, external opinions. So yes, I will be cautious this year. Okay. So in fact, um, this is what I usually like to do, okay, to which is own. Okay. Again, I'm not trying to play crystal ball here, but you know, I just use this as a guiding principle. I usually like to predict the market movement. Okay, it's just a personal exercise. Uh, what you see here is the Dow Jones index for last year. Uh, for 2022, last year, you can see that it's a slight downward trend if you want to be very precise about it. Uh, so it actually started off higher for Dow Jones 2022 and it ended off slightly lower at the end of last year. Okay, so with the backdrop of uh, people expecting that the market is actually going to be gloomy, okay, I do believe that this downward trend is likely to continue. Uh, so this is my prediction for the market. I am actually expecting a downward trend as well. Okay, again, you know, um, I, I'm not here like trying to buy Toto. Uh, it's like, well, am I going to be accurate? No. Uh, so why I actually do this exercise is because it gives me a guiding principle. Also, if let's say three months later, six months later, things are changed, okay, my prediction may actually change quite fast. Uh, so um, don't take it as I'm trying to, okay, you know, um, 
make a prediction. Then after, if I'm right, oh, I will like, oh, you know, see, I'm so smart. I'm right. No, I'm no. So that's definitely not the intention. It's really just give me a guiding principle. Huh? So I actually do believe that the market will continue to generate downward trend for reason that I mentioned earlier. Uh, but I uh, predicted also that there's high volatility. Lah. Okay, that means it's not like straight line down. Okay, I do predict that there is a lot of ups and downs. So in that sense, probably quite similar to last year. Uh, and again, as you can see, I purposely put it such that, uh, okay, the end of this year, okay, is going to end off lower than the beginning of this year. Okay, so um, this is the trend that I'm expecting. So some of you actually may ask me, like, hey, you know, uh, why... Why is there like rebounds? Huh? Okay, why is there that potential rebounds? Um, I can actually think of two reasons. So the first reason here is this China is opening up. So yes, uh, on the Western front, uh, we actually do expect uh, things are going to be bad. Things are slowing down. Uh, but, you know, with the China opening up, it may actually give them um, some upside, lah, okay, some potential upside. So that is one. And of course, in fact, now the, the valuation for the whole market is actually not expensive. Okay, I wouldn't say it's cheap, but not expensive. Lah. So if they were to go down further, it actually make the market quite attractive. And I think that will invite investors to come in. Okay, so this is uh, my prediction, of course. Uh, feel free to share your comments. Uh, feel free to share your opinion. Any questions, uh, feel free to just type onto the chat. So like I said, this is an info session. So in fact, um, yep, um, I have not prepared a lot of stuff. I just prepared all the main stuff. So yep, would be great if we could have some little talks um, either during the session or after the session. So yep, feel free to key in the question. Now, um, so with this kind of market trend, uh, so the question is, how should I be investing this year? Um, if you ask people, I should be cautious. Uh, so what does cautious mean? Uh? So let's start from the very basic. Uh. So do you think that um, since I think that market is down, that we shouldn't be investing? We should just hold cash, uh, buy bonds, or basically buy into fixed income. We shouldn't invest in the stock market. If you think that will be a good idea, maybe just help me type a one. You think no la, no la, cannot must you still must invest, please help me type a two. Okay, so the question here is this uh, do you think given this, we should just ah, yeah, don't invest, keep cash? Or that's one or two, we should still be investing. Uh? Okay, great, great, great. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, uh yes, uh, yes, uh, my response is the same. Um, I also will choose to, I will also still be investing. Why? Because there is never a best time to invest. Ah. You will never, never, I've been investing for almost 20 over years. Ah. You will never, never find a, perf a day perfect for investment. Okay. So if you actually do consider, yeah, maybe I don't invest, maybe I wait later. Ah. Then uh, if you do that, you end up, you just keep waiting and wait and wait and wait. Then of course, nothing happens. Ah. So yes, I will still be investing. Ah. Okay, so of course, the next question here is, okay, since you're investing, how do you invest? With this kind of environment, what will I be doing? Ah? So um, I don't see downtrend is all bad. Okay, it's just a matter of perspective. Lah. Okay, so of course, uh, one thing we have to be clearer here. So if we think that the market is going down, what type of companies actually going to suffer the most? Uh, I think it's quite obvious, financially weak companies. Okay, companies which are financially weak, uh, companies with no steady cash flow, companies with the highest risk of bankruptcy. So when the whole market down, they are the one that is going to suffer the most for obvious reasons because hey, they can really go bankrupt, isn't it? Okay, so uh, hopefully you see where I'm getting at. So basically, you know, this year, I'm not going to take risks to invest in financially weak company. So like, for example, hey, is Tesla a financially strong, weak company? Okay, we all know that Tesla is one of the growth companies that one don't you say. 
Okay, it is uh yeah, it's good designing product of the future. Okay, it is uh, making cars that a lot of people like. But is it a financially strong company? Uh, that is a more difficult question to answer, really. Okay, so say McDonald's, yeah, yeah, everybody has been eating McDonald's. Uh, for all you know, McDo uh, the McDonald's have been there for so many years. If let's say market come down, are they going to suffer? Okay, so you cannot just or visit a McDonald outlet and say that hey, since got so many people eat McDonald's, confirm is good. Um, <laughs> definitely you cannot see that. So yes, this year I will avoid financially weak companies, uh, even on the expense of potential growth. Okay, why? Because I do believe that the market is downward trend. I'll be cautious. Now, on the other hand, uh, on the other hand, especially when the market is low, it is actually a very good time to pick up good companies. Uh, financially sound companies with very good business model. Okay, what is, what is a good company? Two things. Number one, you must like the business model. Uh. You think the business model makes sense and they must be financially sound. Uh. And this year may be the best time to pick it up because... Uh, yes, even when market when the whole market is down, usually their price will also be affected. Of course, the 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 impact will be a lot lesser compared to financially weak companies. But nevertheless, okay, the when the market is down, the price is actually going to be cheaper as compared to the market is up. Okay, yeah, so it may be a good time to actually buy into all these good companies. Again, what is a good company? Um, business model that you believe will do well. And of course, financially strong companies uh, with very strong cash flows and so forth. So again, back to the question, uh, how do we actually go and sieve out all these company? How do you know is this a good company? Okay, is Singtel a good company? Is Singpost a good company? Is um, some of the latest listed companies a good company? Okay, so you only from financial statement analysis that you can actually see. Huh? So hopefully I've actually explained to you uh, why is it important. And this period are uh, especially important because uh, I have to be very careful. Now, just to in comparison, uh, usually during a bull market, eh, when I expect market to just run up, market to just what you call chong, uh, going up, okay? So investors, they are more forgiving. Uh, even financially weak companies, uh, okay? Uh, the, the prices will also go up. So when the bull market, during a bull market, people should just focus on the business. Okay, which business can capture the growth best? Okay, which business got the most uh, interesting, most sexy product? Uh, so those are the business where by the price will fly. Uh, so people worry about financial lesser. So that's why, you know, at that point in time, okay, uh, I wouldn't say it's not important, but definitely financial statement is less important or less impact on the stock price. But in markets like this, uh, okay, people... Uh, everybody want to be cautious. Everybody want to be safe. Also, uh, this is where it's actually quite critical to learn on how to differentiate a financially weak company from a good company. Uh.